So today's tutorial is how to make towel toppers. Um, I needed for this tutorial scissors, two crochet hooks, a 3.75 and 4.5, a owl yarn, a towel, and a needle for weaving in the ends of the yarn. So first you're going to start with folding your towel in half. I used hair clips to uh, hold the towel in place because otherwise uh, sometimes it moves and your towel will be uneven when you get to the end. So first you're going to use your owl or any pointy sharp tool that you have um, and you poke it through. I like to make three holes at a time and then uh, crochet into those holes because if you do more uh, it can be hard to see them afterwards. So just start with three and start crocheting in those and then poke your next three and crochet into those and so on. So you're going to slip knot and put it on your hook like you normally would to start any project. Uh, you're going to use your smaller needle here, your smaller hook, and you're going to single crochet into the holes just as if they were uh, chain stitches. So you stick your hook in, pull a loop through, yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook. And you're going to continue to do this all the way until you get to the other side. Sometimes it can be a little hard to get them through the holes, you know, sometimes you just have to stick your owl in again to widen the hole a little bit. And when you get to the end, you're going to go over and do uh, one probably about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch from the edge of the thing. Um, and then you're going to do two um, chains you're going to turn. Uh, it's okay if your towel is a little scrunched up like mine was. It's it's going to fold itself behind so it's really not big of a deal. And for this row you are going to double crochet in each single crochet all the way across. So you're going to yarn over, stick your needle in, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again and pull through two. And you can continue that all the way down the row. And um, everyone's going to have different amounts of you know stitches across because everyone's towels may be slightly different or your, your distance between your holes may be slightly different. It really does not matter for this pattern. Um, and also just make sure you get your last double crochet in that chain three from the prior rows. I also forgot to switch needles. You would normally switch needles sizes um, before doing your, your double crochet, but uh, obviously it's not that big of a deal. You can just switch whenever. You could still continue to use the same needle size, but um, I just like the way the bigger needle size looks for this project. And again, you're going to chain two and turn. Um, this row, you're going to double crochet in every other stitch. So I decided to not skip one right away. I just went right into the first stitch of this row um, and did a double crochet. And then I switched. I skipped the next one, double crocheted, skipped another one, double crocheted. And you're going to continue to do this all the way down to the end of the row.
and once you get to the end you are again going to chain two and turn and as you can see it uh, started decreasing the size because we skipped every other stitch um, that's going to make the towel fold in behind itself and that's how it gets that way uh, so just do every other row of double crochets in every stitch across and then the next row would be double crochet in every other stitch and so on and so forth and you're going to continue to do this until you get about seven to ten uh, double crochets wide. So here I got to about my, you know, 7 to 10 and chain 2 and turn and you do a double crochet in every stitch across and you keep doing the same uh, double crochet in every stitch across and you're going to go uh, until you get about 9 to 10 rows of double crochets. Uh, this is the part that's going to loop over your refrigerator or handle or the handle on your stove or wherever you plan to hang it. Um, and so I always just measure it again, you know, based on what it looks like. It might be a little different if you use different hook sizes or if you had different tension. And uh, when you get to the end, you're going to chain one you're going to single crochet in the first hoop and then chain about seven uh, or to ten and then in the last stitch you're going to single crochet on the other side and then I like to do just one more slip stitch for a little bit extra security in there to hold that and that is the loop that it's going to loop around your button that you can either choose to sew on your own button or I will show you just after this how to make your own button out of yarn. So at this point um, you need to weave in your ends um, and then now I'm going to show you how to do a button. You have to start with a magic circle. So here I'm trying to demonstrate it. Sorry, I know I have band-aids on my finger, so it's kind of hard to see the pink string. Um, I used some scratchy yarn and my fingers got a little raw the other day, so I had to throw a band-aid on. Um, I'm going to show you again real quick right here. Again, how to do it so you can see it again if you don't know how to do one. If you do, you can just skip forward a little bit. So you wrap it around twice. You're going to stick your hook under the first one and then pull the other one through and then loop over and do a single crochet and then try and you know pull it tight a little bit and then do two more chain stitches and you're going to double crochet into that circle about 12 times. And once you continue to do that, you have all 12, you're going to pull the loose end of your circle and pull it tight. And then you are going to slip stitch in the top of the chain three that you did when you first started this. And you're going to pull it tight and you're going to cut off the ends, but leave, you know, about 10 inches or so to use to tie and weave your uh, button onto your towel. So make sure it's secure and use your yarn needle that you use to weave in your ends to sew the button onto the towel. I do it about right where my neck started for the towel. And this is what your finished button would look like on your towel. And hopefully this is what your towel ended up looking like. This is mine. Um, so thank you for watching this and please visit my blog for more tutorials. And thank you. Please leave comments if you have any questions or I can help.
Bye, guys.